This video is an in-depth look at the new firmware that Roland released for their System 8 Polysynth. This new firmware, released in June 2018, adds some great new features to the System 8 synth engine. This update includes 12 new tweakable FM oscillators, as well as some great new filters. There's a model of Jupiter 8 filters, Juno 106 filters, as well as a pretty wild harmonic filter that I'll do a little demo with. It also includes multiple new formant filters, which allow you to modulate between different vowel sounds. Finally, it includes an overdub record mode for step editing your sequences. I won't be covering the new overdub mode today, but it's pretty simple. I'll go over all the other features though. Before we get started, a quick shout out to Roland. I'm really happy that they're continuing to work on firmware for the System 8. Very cool. All right, let's see what these new FM oscillators sound like. So before we had variations one and two, now they've added three and four. Number three is a two operator FM synth, and you can select different settings by cycling through the different waves. I started out by doing a knit patch, so we're just have listening only to oscillator one. We'll start with the new variation three, which is a two operator FM synthesis with one sine wave modulating the frequency of another sine wave. Now variation three has six different settings, each selected by choosing a different wave shape. So first we'll try the first type, which is a one-to-one -one ratio. And by turning the color knob, I can change the strength of the modulation. All right, the second mode, this is the one, one to 1.5 ratio. Now the third one is the 1 to 2 ratio. And the fourth one is the 1 to 3.5 ratio. on the envelope. Sounds like a bell. Okay, and the fifth one is a 1 to 15 ratio. It's supposed to be like an electric piano sound. And the last mode is a 6 to 1 ratio. Alright, now let's try variation 4. This is a 5 operator FM oscillator. We have six different modes within the variation, each with different ratios on the frequencies. The first one. Crazy harmonic overtones. Second one. Color knob here is changing, I believe, the strength of the modulation between operators. All right, let's try the third one. All right, fourth one. Type D. All right, the fifth one is called type E. And 
the last one is type F. Alright, now let's try to actually make a patch with these real quick. I'm going to go back to variation 3 and just pick a simple bell-like tone. So, the third option. I'll add a little bit of uh, delay. A little bit of reverb. All right, let's try out the new filters. Okay, just for comparison's sake, this is the standard 12 dB System 8 filter. So I've got a little bit of envelope on the filter. Now let's try the new filters. So first of all, variation four, the Jupiter 8 filter model. Three options available. Minus 24 dB. Minus 18. And minus 12. Pretty nice. All right, let's try variation five. This is the JU-106 filter. Oh, and you actually get a high-pass filter as well. So the low-pass filter first. More envelope. Turn off that reverb. Let's try the high pass filter. Pretty nice. All right, let's try variation six. Variation six and seven are the formant filters and they modulate between different vowel sounds. And I'll go back through them backwards. And variation seven is another set of formant filters which modulate between three different vowel formants. So the first one is U and then I and A. This next one is U to E to A and so on. So let's see what they sound like. So I've got some LFO on the filter cutoff because I'm lazy. So I'm basically doing this. All right, that's the first one. Let's try the second one. And the last one. Put some reverb. 
back on it. A bit delay. All right, and finally, the last new filter is the harmonic filter. It's variation eight. It's a pretty interesting filter that uses a feedback delay to vary the overtones. The knobs are a little bit different in this mode. The cutoff knob lets you morph between harmonics. The resonance knob adjusts the amount of delay feedback. And this knob becomes very similar to the octave select knob on the oscillators. So this is 64 feet, 32 feet, 16 feet. So typically you set this to basically the same value as either your oscillator one or oscillator two. For example, my oscillator two, which was a square wave at eight feet. Also in this mode, the high pass cutoff knob becomes a combination low pass filter, high pass filter knob. So left of center is low pass and to the right is high pass. Okay, so I have my oscillators turned all the way down. We're just listening to the filter. So without the feedback, you don't hear anything, but feedback itself oscillates. You can sweep through the harmonics. All right, bring some oscillator two back in. Sorry, I had some delay in viewer bond. So now we're dry with no effects. Try low pass. delay, a little reverb, something percussive. Let's try a little bit of envelope, which will change the harmonics with an envelope. Pretty wild. Switch the LFO from a ramp to a sample and hold. Key triggered. Turn it up a little bit. Mix back in some oscillator two. Let's mix in some oscillator one, which is an octave lower sawtooth. That's the harmonic filter. I'm sure I'm just figuring out how to use it. Just scratch the surface.